Southeast Washington's Toucannon River once produced thousands of spring Chinook salmon. Today it produces just a few hundred adults each year, the only remaining population of spring Chinook in the lower Snake River. Spring Chinook were listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act in 1992. Today, WDFW works with several partner groups to improve habitat to better support fish in the Toucannon. In addition to dams preventing many fish from returning upstream to spawn, decades of logging, livestock grazing, using the river for crop irrigation, and wildfires have damaged the river's habitat and made it increasingly hard for fish to prosper. WDFW staff are also working to supplement native spring Chinook populations with hatchery-raised fish. Staff earlier this spring spent three days tagging thousands of small fish before releasing them into the river. We're, we're pit tagging two groups of spring Chinook. Uh, one that's going to be released at the mouth and of the Buchanan River, and the other one's going to be released here at the hatchery. Pit tags are small radio transponders that contain a unique code that allows each individual tagged fish to be tracked. They are inserted into fish so we can understand where they go when they leave the hatchery and where they end up. The pit tagging process starts with thousands of the young fish being brought from the hatchery's ponds by the net load into a special trailer used specifically for tagging fish. The fish are anesthetized using a small amount of a drug mixed into the water. This also slows them down so that they are much easier to handle. Staff use a plastic gun with a hollow needle attached. The needle is quickly inserted under the skin and the trigger pulled to implant the tag. Fish is quickly put down the drain, which is not actually a drain at all, but connects to a pipe that carries the fish back to the outside ponds. The fish recover from the anesthesia quickly and return to regular fish activity in the pond in no time. These fish are to be released into the toucan in the spring, with the hope that they will make their way to the ocean, which is normal spring chinook behavior, before returning to the river to spawn when they mature. So you, most of the time they'll come back as four-year-olds, that's the, the main age group that comes back. In the years between when these fish leave and when they hopefully return, we will be able to keep tabs on them through the pit tags. Many rivers in the state have antennas placed at various locations along them, called pit tag arrays, that read the tag. As fish swim past the antenna, which is either onshore or stretches across the river, the antenna registers that a tagged fish has been detected and records the unique number associated with each tag. Pit tag arrays let us see how far these fish travel, where they originated, and when they were released into the river. Well, following through the dams, we have a antenna, pit tag arrays at the dams, and so we'll follow them out as juveniles. And also as adults, so we'll, we'll get them at the um, dams as adults, as the returning adults. And so we can see which ones are coming back and the high, how high they come up, um, survival, how many are returning, at what age groups. Funding for these fish and the pit tags to track them comes from a program aimed at replacing some of the fish losses caused by dams. Lower Snake Comp Plan, Compensation Plan, that's where we get our funding from. So that's a direct appropriation from Congress for that, uh, mitigation for the dams operation. This year's release of Spring Chinook is the first in a series that will take place over three or four years. Hopefully, someday in the future, enough of these fish will return to spawn on their own and this work will no longer be needed. <laughs>